two Tough Rider uh, Youth horse shirts. They're exactly the same except for the color. Paid a dollar a piece. Sold them for 11 plus shipping, giving me a profit of $7.26. Candyland fabric. One large piece, 130 inches. I've had it um, for quite a while, so I marked it on clearance and sold it. I paid two dollars and twenty cents for it. Sold it for 10.50 plus shipping, giving me a profit of six dollars and sixty-two cents. It's really bright. Three, um, just denim, Bermuda shorts, blue Jordash, uh, size five T. I paid three dollars and thirty cents for these at Walmart on clearance. Sold them for seven. I don't know why I accepted that offer because it's almost time to wear these, so I probably could have gotten more if I held out for a little bit longer. Um, my profit was three dollars ninety-eight cents for these. Hot Topic Twilight shirt. I paid a dollar twenty-eight in a Hot Topic lot at an auction. I sold it for eight twenty-four, and I sold it pretty quickly. I believe I've listed it. I had it listed for about a week. Um, my profit on this was five dollars and seventy-seven cents, and I've got a pretty good bit of Hot Topic le stuff left. And mostly Twilight. I paid a dollar ten for this sweet little kitty cat. I sold her for six dollars. I had her on clearance, giving me a profit of four thirty two. And my description on her was sad cat, blue eyes, plush, stuffed animal, kitty kitten, depressed, needs loved. I don't remember doing that, but that cracked me up when I saw that. We paid four cents for this pattern in a lot. Sold it for eight thirty four. No, eight thirty one, giving us a profit of six ninety three. This is a Christmas, a Mary Ingle Burt Christmas um, wall hanging. I paid five fifty for this after Christmas at Hobby Lobby this year. Um, I sold it for thirteen dollars, giving me a profit of seven dollars and fifty seven cents. This is a ladies mumu type dress. It is um, got these embroidered flowers. It's handmade or homemade. I'm not sure if it's handmade or machine made. There it is. It's got fringe on the bottom. Paid a dollar fifty for this at a yard sale. Sold it for thirteen dollars on sale, giving me a profit of ten dollars and thirty three cents. This is girls bikini. It's Angel Beach. It's the name brand. I paid twenty four cents for this at a bag sale. Sold it for eleven dollars plus shipping, giving me a profit of nine dollars and eighty three cents. This shows that anything will sell at any time of the year. This is a witch and jack o' lantern. Dancing brooch. It's best brand, which is definitely vintage. Um, it's got the pin clip and the. I don't know if that's a scarf hook. I call it a scarf hook. Um, on the back, it's in really good shape. This one, I've got a lot of them that are tarnished. This one's not tarnished. This one's in really good shape. I paid fifty cents for this at a yard sale, and sold it for six dollars and eleven cents. Giving me a profit of. I lost it. Where did it go? Giving me a profit of four dollars and eighty-six cents. I paid forty-five cents for this. Accepted an offer of six dollars. I really don't know why. Accepted this offer of six dollars. I mean, it's very detailed, very pretty. I probably should not have done that, but it still gave me a profit of four dollars and eighty-three cents after shipping, and I only paid forty-five cents. This is 11 pieces of Joe Boxer pajamas. They're all new with tag, but I bought them at the liquidation center, so they weren't um, perfect. But the liquidation center was going out of business, so they had all their clothes really cheap. Well, I paid $9.08 for all 11 pieces, and I sold them for, here they are right here, just in a bag. Um, I sold them for $29.49 giving me a profit of $16.58. And they're going uh, about a 10 minute drive for me. Um, but I marked priority, so I gotta do it priority, even though I could just, you know, take them and chunk them on their porch. Wouldn't that be nice? I paid 50 cents for this at a yard sale. It is a, um, it's basically just a pack of fabric. It's really, really pretty spring colors. Um, and then it comes with Here's the different fabrics. And then it comes with this pattern too. So you can use the fabric for quilting or to make this item, um, this little bag. Anyway, it's real pretty, real spring-like. Paid 50 cents for this at a yard sale, sold it for $10.25, giving me a profit of $7.79. This is an Adidas pink Razorback tank top. It's just a regular tank top with a Razorback, just a workout um, tank. 
paid a dollar ten for this, sold it for seven dollars, giving me a profit of five dollars and fifty two cents. I paid two fifty for this. I'm sorry, two seventy five for this at um, Walmart on clearance. It's just a suitcase cover so that you can easily find your suitcase. Um, like in the airport or whatever. It, this one says we all have baggage, but this one is not yours. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. I sold that, and I sold this um, American Angel pin to the same person. Um, I have a special running 20% off if you buy two items. You get an additional 20% off for your price. So um, people don't take advantage of it very often, but I really like when they do uh, because I can combine shipping and um, makes my job a little bit easier in a way and I get rid of two things at once, right? So, um, they paid a total of $18.67 for both of these combined. That gave me a profit of $12.50 combined. I bought a large lot of bracelets at an auction. They broke down to $0.15 cents per bracelet. If they were awesome, I sold them individually. If they were just kind of, meh. I put them in lots. This right here was my bling lot. Just had all the rhinestones. It's my unbroken bling lot. These are the ones that are not missing any of the rhinestones. Um, but just for full bling. Um, this lot sold for $9.89, giving me a profit of $4.86. There's $14 here. So for this $14, my cost was $2.10. So $4.86 on this um, on this lot, and I have more than made my money back for the auction so far, and I've got a pretty good bit left to go. I paid $0.28 cents for this Jasmine and Ginger um, comic book tank top. It's just got comic strip stuff on there. Sold it for five bucks, giving me a profit of three dollars and eight. This is a chalk brand, C H A L C. I'd never heard of this brand until I found this at their store on clearance for 49 cents. It's a really nice plaid button up shirt. I paid 49 cents, sold it for 9.75, giving me a profit of eight dollars and 20 cents. Paid 98 cents for this, sold it for nine dollars. It's just a moving comfort brand wild looking athletic tank top. I sold it for nine dollars giving me a profit of six dollars and eighty two. These are military ladies dress shoes. I bought a bunch of these at a thrift store like a buggy full at a thrift store clearance for 49 cents each. I bought a buggy full. My mom bought a buggy full. Um, I'm not sure if she sold hers. I haven't talked to her. I've sold several pair. Um, I sold this pair for fourteen dollars and nineteen cents giving me a profit of $9.19. And this is what they look like. And I got all odd sizes, like 11 EW and 5.5 .5 narrow. And I mean, just really, really awkward sizes. And I believe that's why uh, they had so many of them. They were like the extra that didn't sell. I bought a bunch of charms at a um, yard sale. The lady just had a bunch of stuff poured out on the table, said fill a cup up for a dollar. They ended up, I split them up by um, type. I just grabbed and grabbed and grabbed and split them up by what they were and a lot of those together and they ended up about a quarter a lot. So this group of 19 monkeys, just monkeys laying down. I don't really, honestly don't know what people would use these for, but boy am I selling them. Um, I sold this group for eight thirty one, giving me a profit of $6.40, which is more than I paid for all the cups I bought, and um, I've sold multiple, multiple of these, so I did really, really well with these. Paid a quarter for this at a yard sale. I did put this item up on auction because I wasn't sure exactly what to list it for. Um, the tape player works somewhat, not perfectly. The headphones are missing the padding, and only one of the sides work. Um, the radio works perfect. But I wasn't sure. So anyway, I immediately got one bid, and the one bid won it at nine dollars and seventy-eight cents, which is fine because I paid a quarter, giving me a profit of seven dollars and ninety-three cents. Also, on this one, I did put a video in my listing. It's seventy-five cents for these Italy stickers. They're brand new at a thrift store. Sold them for eight thirty-one, giving a profit of six fifty-three.
Get a dollar ten for this Hotel Trans Transylvania Zombie. Sold them for five bucks, giving me a profit of three. This is an old Victoria's Secret robe. It is plaid. Um, I believe it's vintage. It's a size extra small. It had some condition issues. I bought it for 49 cents. Listed it last week. Um, there's a stain right there. There's a hole in it. And it still sold for $9.85, giving me a profit of $7.06. 49 cents for this. It's a Lands in Little Girls size 10 tankini. Sold it for $6.11 after shipping, giving me a profit of $5.25. Paid 15 cents for this in the same lot as the other group of bracelets. And we sold this one for $7 plus shipping, giving us a profit of $4.28. And I am holding it. And isn't it pretty? And I, I am her daughter. <laughs> This is a lot of three Duff Goldman um, cake wires. They are so that you can decorate cakes. I paid three dollars and thirty cents. I paid a dollar ten for each. You already seen me. I bought a bunch of. Uh, I think I bought three sets. This is my last set. The first two went pretty quick. This one I put on to for a while. This one. Um, I sold for $12.39 plus shipping, giving me a profit of exactly $8. This is a Claudia Richard shirt. They're, um, she's vintage. I don't think the line's around anymore. Um, but every time I buy them, they kind of have this look to them. And they always sell. I paid $0.24 cents for this in a um, bag sale. Sold it for $9.86, giving me a profit of $7.84. I paid 49 cents for this um, 101 Dalmatians dress at a thrift store sale. I sold it for $8.24, giving me a profit of $6.73. When I bought it, I didn't realize that I had this awful stain right here. It's in the front and back. You probably can't see it very well because I had a hard time seeing it. I didn't see it until I was taking the pictures. But I put all that in the description. I advertised it as a Valentine's Day dress because it's got... Um, hearts on the puppy dog and it did not sell for Valentine's Day but it did uh, two weeks later sell for Valentine's Day even with the stain. I bought these two pair of gray Dickies loose fit work shorts. I bought these at a thrift store sale for 69 cents each. I lotted them together and sold them for $18 plus shipping. Uh, my profit on these two today are or is $13.59 and they are a men's size 52, so they're a good size. Um, so $13.59 profit on both of them, and I just listed these for sure last week. I paid $5.50 for these Stearns boots. These are waist boots, or what are they, hip waders? Um, these I've had for a very, very long time. I was ready to get rid of them. I sold them for $40, including shipping, giving me a profit of $8.29. This big old box is gone, thank goodness. I um, bought a or won an auction of purses, new with tags. Uh, they broke down to four dollars per purse, so I paid four dollars for this purse. Sold it for ten plus shipping, giving me a profit of four dollars and fifty cents. We bought a lot of marionette. Oops! Oh no, puppets <laughs> at an auction. They broke down to two dollars and ten cents a piece. Um, we have three left, including this one. I put this one on sale because we've had it for quite a while. The most expensive one we sold was $100. Um, we sold one for $80 not long after that, and I'm not sure what the price is on the other ones. But this one we sold today for $37.39, giving us a profit of $21.29. And it is kind of tied up, but thank goodness I put in the description it's tied up. And this is a talking marionette. See how the mouth is moving when she pulls the string? That means it's talking. Super duper pretty cool. His hands, when you hold that one, makes it move. Yep, but it's got this knot that I can't figure out. So, yeah. We're going to miss them now. Our favorite, we really oh, yeah, miss the dragon. Yeah. Today is Monday, February the 27th. I'm shipping out 35 items. They cost me $58.37. 
My total profits off these items was $259.50. Um, my total sale before, after they paid shipping, before my shipping and fees and everything was $545.89. It's going to be a very busy week, so I don't know how much I'm going to actually sell this week because I'm not going to list this week. I can already tell you. I'm going to be at that Tuesday tomorrow, Mardi Gras. Um, Wednesday, I believe I can do some listing Wednesday. Thursday, I have to go read to my daughter's class. Friday, my favorite thrift store is having a huge sale. So, who knows? Hope y'all have a good week.